Hey guys, it's Drea. Today it's time for another Hold It, How Was It? This is looking back on a haul. I can't remember the date of this one, man. It's been a long time because I haven't been hauling um, in a while. It was the around the VIB sale in November. Is that right? No, the spring one. I'm gonna link the video, okay? Um, I just don't have it right here in front of me, but I have hold the products that I still have in my collection. We're gonna talk about them, and I will talk about the ones that I don't have anymore as well. Some of them are empties and, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, this was actually a collective haul. It wasn't just the Sephora Rouge haul. Um, so first of all, I did go to the drugstore. So I bought a couple things from Wet n Wild. First was this. This is the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air eyeshadow palette. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Um, I actually used this for about a month to six weeks a while back in my Bought It Forgot It series to really, really test it out. And I really enjoy this palette a lot. I think the mattes in here are so good, like super pigmented to start with. I will say um, in particular, this red shade, which I have on today, kind of blends away a lot, even when you're trying to build it up. So I kind of have that in the middle to the outer part of my eye. And when you're blending it, it does blend away a lot. But then you have like something like this rich brown here, which is like super rich, gorgeous. Um, I'm wearing that as well in my look today. And a lot of the mattes, like the transition shades are just really beautiful. They blend really, really easily. So it has kind of pros and cons, but you can kind of learn how it works and kind of work with it. So for example, with that purpley red, I just have to really build it up a lot. I like that it has like a matte brow bone shade. The only shade in here that I actually do not like at all is this, um, kind of golden shimmery shade down here. And that's because when I wear this, it fades super quickly and it does not last throughout the day. And it doesn't even really show up all that well to begin with, but um, that I would say is the only actual real dud shadow in this palette. Everything else either is great or can be worked with. Overall, I really like this palette. I think it's a really good buy, um, especially if you don't have the Modern Renaissance palette in your collection, which this is obviously going for that vibe in many, many of the same shades, very similar. Um, such like such a good buy from the drugstore. Wet n Wild has always done eyeshadow really well. Okay, next, I did buy the Between the Sheets wipes from Wet n Wild, and I thought they were really good. I used them all up. They're gone. Um, Faux Mink Wispies from Ardell. Oh man, those were a huge fail. Those were the biggest fail ever because I love Ardell Faux Mink lashes. They are my favorite lashes. They are gorgeous, they're affordable, they look as good as like high-end ones, um, but these ones in particular like ripped apart after using them one time. Normally I can get eight to ten wears out of a pair of Ardell um, faux mink lashes, but these ones just ripped apart. I can't remember what I did with them. I was going to return them, I never did, but anyways, so it makes me very hesitant to buy those ones in particular but I might try it again because they were beautiful. I also um, purchased the Kiss Blowout Lashes in the style Page Boy. Where's the style on here? Oh yeah, it's right on there. <laughs> okay, Page Boy. This is what I'm wearing today. I hate these. I think they look so weird on me. In here, they look like kind of doubled up. They look kind of wispy. They just look like really nice regular lashes. But I feel like on me, they don't suit me at all. I feel like they make my eyes look droopy. Um, and then they're kind of choppy all along the lash line. They're not my favorites at all. I will eventually use them until um, they're done. But I definitely won't buy them again. So that's my first experience maybe with Kiss Lashes. Um, there's not a huge selection in my Walmart. But yeah, I don't like these ones at all. Okay, next was the Forever 21 Pure Derm Makeup Removing Towelettes. You guys, I'm dead because I can't find them anymore. I'm not dead in a good way. I'm dead in a bad way. I keep going back to my Forever 21 and they don't have them and I'm so sad. They were so good. They were full of product. They were affordable. I think it was like $5 for like 30 in there. Um, they had so much product in them. I really, really, really loved them a lot. And I, I've been looking for months now and I can't find them anymore. So that super sucks, but maybe they will come back. I don't know if you ever run into those anywhere. The Pure Derm, they were really, really good. Um, next is Benefit Gimme Brow. This must have been when Benefit sent me PR as well, because it's like the first time I've ever gotten PR from a, from a big brand and it was so exciting. It was like, 
I was screaming at work. It was so good. Um, they sent me two of the Gimme Brow Plus. This is the one that I kept in shade number one. And then I think I put one in a giveaway. Um, and I love this stuff. Like I've always loved this stuff. I think it's so good. I'm wearing it today. It gives your brows a little bit of a, like an extra fiber. And then because it's a gel, it holds them in place. It's got a little bit of a tint, it has the perfect size brush. I'm not gonna lie, I do think a good alternative from the drugstore is the Essence one, which is way, way, way cheaper and as good. Um, the only drawback I would say is the Essence only comes in three shades and now I think this one comes in multiple shades. But I've always loved this. I fully recommend it. I think it's a great product. I had redeemed about, I can't remember, five or 800 points on the Clinique Take the Day Off makeup remover from Sephora. They were 100 points each for the little mini travel size, which is great because I love that stuff. I think it is one of the best makeup removers, like eye makeup remover out there. On the rest of my face, I just use like regular um, micellar water, but for the eyes, I always feel like there's so much going on up here. Like sometimes you have lash glue, you have like mascara, you got liquid liner, like there's a lot going on. And I don't like to rub at my eyes, you know, and the only things that I find that really work are specific eye makeup removers and Clinique makes such a good one. I've purchased it many times over and it was just really nice to get them free and I have since worked through all of them. Um, also for the VIB sale, I this I went very light on this VIB sale and I bought a couple of things. One of them was the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer, which is like holy grail status repurchase for me. I love that stuff. It smells amazing. And I like it because it just gives me a nice smooth blow dry, a blowout, and also it protects my hair from the heat. Like it's a heat protectant and it smells so good. It leaves your hair smelling so good. Next repurchase during the VIB sale was this, and it's almost gone, but that's okay because I have a little secret to tell you guys. This is the L'Occitane Almond Oil. Um, I use this to shave my legs with. It's amazing. It gives you a nice smooth shave, but also you don't have to moisturize your legs after. I never get like razor burn anymore. Um, I never get ingrown hairs. Like I do exfoliate first, but basically this just gives me a smooth shave, super moisturized skin. I love it. I love the scent of it. That being said, this is 8.4 fluid ounces. I think it was, I think it's 25 Canadian for this. I don't know what possessed him, but uh, this week, like about a week ago, my husband went, he's all into natural stuff. Like he's all vitamins all the time. So he went to the nature's way store, or whatever. And he bought almond oil for himself, for his arms. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you up to? And he's like, yeah, I just want to moisturize. I'm like, okay, you do whatever you want. So I was like, I need to smell this because I want to know if it smells the same. It didn't. It didn't smell the same at all. Um, but then about a couple days later, I open it again. It's in his car and I'm like smelling it. I'm like, this smells exactly like the lost tongue. Like what is up? Why does this now smell different? And he goes, oh, I went back and I bought some almond like essential oil and I just added it to it. And now it smells identical to this. So essentially what this is, you guys, is just regular almond oil with um, the almond scented, like, you know how it's like very, what's it called? Concentrated. The uh, essential oils are like concentrated, right? So the scent of like a couple drops of almond oil in almond oil, uh, like almond oil extract in almond oil, you know what I'm saying? No, you all get it now, um, is identical to this. And I was just like, mind blown so much cheaper. Let's do this from now on. I'm like, what the heck ever made you discover this? Why did you do this? He's like, I don't know. I just wanted to moisturize my arms. Okay then. <laughs> and also I will say this, the Bath and Body Works, like just general oils that they have work just as good as this and smell different, but smell really nice. Um, I think the one that I have is the honey one. It smells amazing and it works just as well, but it's not really the same product. I had also purchased two of these sharpeners from Sephora. These were a dollar. They were clearing them out. I don't know if they still exist on their website or if they now have a new version of it, but these are such good sharpeners. I know it's like, well, like, isn't everything just a sharpener? No. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> so often, you know, your eyeliners will break off or, you know, like, but these have always been amazing. I've had ones before that have lasted me forever before they fell apart. These are amazing. So if they still exist,
go for it. If there's a new version, it's probably as good. I also had purchased the Sunday Riley The Influencer Foundation, which um, I got at the same time a sample of because I was like, okay, if I love it, I'll keep it. If I hate it, it's going back and I don't want to waste the product. So I think that's a really good way to do it. If you're going to buy a foundation from in-store at Sephora, get them to make you a sample at the same time. That way, if you need to return it, no product gets wasted. I mean, they'll take back used product, but I just think it's better for like the environment, consumerism, that kind of thing. It's just my little thing that I've started doing. So anyways, I did try out that sample a couple times. I did an all day wear test with it. I will link to that. I absolutely hated it. It was awful. And um, I just know like it settled into my pores. It's, it, it made my skin look garbage and I really did not like it. But it was an all day wear test. So you can see like the proof is always in the pudding with those. You can see throughout the day how my skin looks if you want to check that out. Um, but that went back. That was the only thing I think I returned. Well, I didn't buy a whole ton, but. Last thing from that haul was this. These are the Too Faced Natural Nudes. I can never remember the name. Can we just shout out Too Faced for the how well they do lipstick? I mean, Too Faced does some things great, some things not so great, but they always do lipstick really well. I've always loved, they had the La Creme lipsticks for a long time, the Peach Kiss lipsticks are amazing, and these Natural Nudes are amazing. I love their lipstick formulas across the board. They've always been so good. So. These are no exception. I definitely want more of these. Um, I have two shades here. I'm wearing Pout About It, which is this one. And then this one is called Overexposed. This is a really interesting color. It's like a cool tone gray purple kind of like lilac-y thing. And then obviously this one is much more warm toned and you especially can see the difference when you put them up next to each other in the cool and warm tones. But I like having kind of one of each, you know what I mean? But I love this. I think it's super flattering. These smell like coconut. They have like coconut, um, coconut oil or coconut water. I don't know, one of the two, like in the formula. And they're just super moisturizing. They feel good on, they smell amazing. They just, they just feel luxurious on your lips. And I love this formula. And just at the end, let me just say, if you saw anything in my nose there, it was just powder, like hanging on to a nostril hair. I'm not re-recording this whole video if it shows up. We're just gonna deal with real life sometimes. All right, that's it for today. If you're new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And today is my filming day. I'm so looking forward to it. I have two days off in a row, and uh, this is video one of like six that I'm gonna be filming. Don't worry, I'm gonna change this look up a few times. But yeah, so that's it for today. I love you guys. Thank you much. Thank you muchly. Thank you muchly for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>